Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, rectangle uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, M is the midpoint uh, on this uh, side uh, A, B. And as a result, uh, A, M segment is going to be equal to segment uh, B, M. And likewise, uh, these points uh, E and F uh, are on this other side A, D. And as a result, uh, this segment uh, AE is going to be equal to this segment EF and finally FD. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, green uh, triangle MBC is uh, 7 centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, pink shaded region. In other words, uh, this uh, triangle uh, FMC area. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And here, let's focus on these uh, two triangles, the red one uh, and the blue one. Then we can see the triangles with the same height will have areas whose ratio is same as the ratio of their bases, as you can see over here and we can see our base uh, for this uh, red triangle is uh, x and the base for this uh, blue triangle is uh, y and the height for both of these uh, triangles is same then the ratio of this uh, red area and the blue area is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, x uh, and y and we are going to use uh, this concept in solving this given problem and now let's focus on this uh, blue rectangle and let's assume the area of this uh, rectangle is 10 centimeter square and if we draw this uh, diagonal for this uh, rectangle then this diagonal is going to divide this uh, rectangle into two equal parts uh, this uh, triangle area and this other uh, congruent triangle area as well so therefore the area of this uh, triangle this part is going to be 5 centimeter square and likewise this other half is going to be 5 centimeter square as well so therefore we are going to draw the diagonal for this uh, rectangle ABCD by connecting uh, this vertex A and this uh, vertex C as you can see in this uh, next step this AC is our diagonal and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC this half of this uh, rectangle and now let's make an observation we can see that this segment uh, am equal to the this uh, segment uh, bm in other words uh, these uh, bases are same for uh, both of these triangles this green triangle and this uh, other triangle and the height for both of this uh, triangle is the same so therefore the area of this triangle is going to be equal to the area of this uh, next uh, triangle if this area is 7 then this area has got to be 7 centimeter square as well so thus we conclude that the area of this uh, triangle uh, amc turns out to be 7 centimeter square so therefore the total area is going to be 7 plus 7 is going to give us uh, 14 centimeter square and now we know that uh, ac is the diagonal of this uh, rectangle so therefore uh, the area for this uh, other half of this uh, rectangle is going to be 14 uh, centimeter square as well so therefore the total area for this whole rectangle a b c d is going to be 14 plus 7 plus 7 is going to give us uh, 28 uh, centimeter square and here's our next step let's assume that this uh, segment am we are going to label as uh, x then this uh, other segment is going to be x uh, as well and likewise let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, segment ae as uh, y then this segment is going to be y and likewise this is going to be y as well across the board so therefore the length uh, of this rectangle ab is going to be x plus x is going to make uh, 2 times uh, x and likewise the width uh, of this rectangle uh, is going to be y plus y plus y is going to make 3 times y 
And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times the uh, width. In our case, our length is uh, 2x and our width is uh, 3 times y. So therefore, the area of this uh, rectangle ABCD is going to be 2 times uh, x times uh, 3 times uh, y. Let's go ahead and multiply them out. So this is going to be equal to 6 times uh, x uh, y. And now let's focus on these uh, two equations. We are going to compare them. Both uh, represents the area of this rectangle uh, ABCD. So therefore I can equate them. So I can write uh, 6 times uh, XY equals to 28. Let's divide both sides by 6. So therefore our XY value turns out to be 14 uh, divided by 3 if we reduce this uh, right hand side. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on these uh, triangles. This triangle, this triangle and uh, this triangle. All of these triangles uh, have the same uh, base uh, as y. And the height uh, of all these three triangles uh, is same as well. And since the combined area of all these uh, three triangles uh, is 14 centimeters square, so therefore the area of this uh, triangle is going to be 14 divided by 3 centimeters square. Likewise the area of this uh, other triangle is going to be 14 divided by 3 centimeter square. And finally the area of this third uh, triangle is going to be 14 divided by 3 centimeter square as well. So therefore let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, blue triangle FAM and this uh, pink uh, triangle uh, FMC area is going to be the sum of uh, these uh, three individual areas 14 divided by 3 plus uh, 14 divided by 3 plus uh, 7. So therefore let me go ahead and write down all those three numbers 7 plus uh, 14 uh, divided by 3 plus uh, 14 uh, divided by 3 as well. That is going to give us uh, 49 uh, divided by 3. So thus their uh, combined area turns out to be 49 divided by 3 centimeter square. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle FAM. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, FAM whose uh, side length uh, is uh, x and this other side length is uh, y plus y is going to make uh, 2 times y. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case our base is x and our height is 2 times y. So therefore the area of this uh, blue triangle FAM is going to be a half times uh, x times uh, 2 y. And if we simplify this one that is simply is going to give us uh, x times y. But we know our xy value is 14 uh, divided by 3. So I'm going to replace uh, 14 divided by 3 over here. So therefore our this uh, blue triangle FAM area turns out to be 14 uh, divided by 3 centimeters square. And here's our final step. Let me go ahead and uh, fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation. I'm going to replace uh, this blue FAM triangle area as 14 divided by 3 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this one by 14 divided by 3. And now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 14 divided by 3 from both sides. This is gone on the left hand side and on the right hand side uh, when we subtract uh, this one that is going to give us uh, 35 uh, divided by 3. So thus the pink uh, region area turns out to be 35 divided by 3 centimeters square. And that is going to be approximately equal to 11.67 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.